My story started in a very different place than where I am today. My life before coming to Christ was confusing, I guess is the best way to describe it. I was missing something. I didn't really know what that was. Being someone who had significant trauma in her childhood that went on for five years um, can really warp a person. It can, it can change a person into believing that you are something that you're not. I just was reeling with the thoughts of all of my secrets. I was keeping so many secrets and I was not living a healthy life. I know I needed a savior. I needed something, but coming from abuse, I didn't feel worthy of it. In 2012, I was invited to a retreat by my sister. It was a ladies' retreat. And we, through the weekend, went through the Old Testament and the New Testament. And I remember thinking during that time that I need more of this. I want this. This is something I've been kind of craving. And then my story changed. Pretty much lit like a pilot light in me. And then following the retreat in 2013, we were invited to try Fellowship Church for the first time. And as a family, we went. And there was a sermon preached about all in, being all in. I realized I could not be all in, carrying the baggage that I had with this abuse. So I think that was a way that God convicted me and let me know that I needed to pursue some help. Now I believe I'm a child of God who deserves His love, although there are some days I don't feel worthy, but I think that's anybody. Because of this, I utilize my experience with sexual trauma and I write a blog. I write a blog that is a way for me to have an outlet for my thoughts and feelings, but it also is a way for people who are also survivors to know that they're not alone. Looking back over my life, God has made a, a huge transformation in me. Um, my faith and the relationship with Him has saved me, literally saved me. I don't know where I'd be without it. And that's how my story changed. <laughs>